Welcome to Aloha, an RPA integrated IAM solution for any organization. In this video, we will see an RPA concept with a solution demo to show how you can benefit from RPA in the space of identity and access management. Robotic driven IAM services have a significant edge in simulation of human actions. There can be centralized processes to meet audit compliance needs. You can always reduce attacks and risks with overall security. Now, as per the current scenario, an employee undergoes around 5 to 7 job changes with around 10 different roles during the whole career. This is the current landscape of an onboarding process in any of the organizations starting from the request till the access granted. These are the challenges that, that are faced with the traditional onboarding process includes repetitive and being time consuming. Now let's see how Aloha can help us in identity and access management during the onboarding process. So you just need to send the user details to a bot Aloha and the access will be granted in no time. You can now see the benefits of this automation in terms of the cost, time and the risk. Thanks for paying attention guys. Let's quickly jump to the demo now. The first application involved in the solution is Active Directory. This is my VirtualBox system. I'm logging into my VirtualBox with the admin credentials. This is my Active Directory users and computers. This is my domain structure. This is my OU. This is my cyber risk group inside the OU. As you can see, the DC details and the OU details. Now let's see the next application involved in the solution, which is MySQL. This is my MySQL workbench. I'm inside the schema and my table called Employee Access DEF. This is the schema of my table, which includes the further columns, user ID, employee ID, first name, last name and other columns as well. My table contains few of the records as of now. Let's delete the records. Now my table is empty. So these will be the inputs for my bot. So the center can be anyone while the subject line has a particular format which means any of the name underscore dd dot mm dot yyyy. Now let's see the attachment that is sent to the bot which contains the user details. In the current file I have four records and the last record is for the Harshit. Now let's see the next email. Yes, the format is correct, the subject line is correct and it contains the attachment. So my this file contains five records with the first record again for Harshit. So for the user creation details, I have received the files. Let's mark the email as entered so that the bot can read it. Now let's look at the folder structure of the solution. My first folder data, it contains the configuration file. The second folder HR data, it has four subfolders. This folder will be dynamically created by the bot at the runtime. The consolidated HR data, this will have the consolidated data of a particular day. The duplicate records, it will be storing the duplicate records in the consolidated data. My next file, master data, it will have, it will have the complete data which includes the previous and the current as well. So it contains the historical data.
my sub process folder contains the other XAML files that are being used by the bot. This is the email template body that will be sent to the admin regarding the duplicates record. What are the actions to be taken in case of the duplicate records are found? This is my next email body which will be sent to the admin or the manager of a new user created which includes the user ID and the new password for the new user to log in. So let's see how the user provisioning is working in an IAM solution using RPA. So in a nutshell, the bot will receive new joinees files through the email. It read out the emails and will create the users and grant them the access privileges in the target applications, which is Active Directory, MySQL, and one of the dummy applications in this particular solution. Now I'll open my bot main file with UiPath Studio. And this is the bot solution built using WebPath ID framework. So the bot is using four states in the ID framework. In it, get transaction data, process transaction, and the end process. The process transaction is for the containing sub processes which are being called inside the uh, process transaction state itself. Let's delete the already sent emails by the bot. And now see the bot in action. So here rpachallenge.com has been used as dummy web application for the user provisioning. In the real time scenario, there can be any target application which is web. Now new users will be created here and will be assigned specific roles also.
So the bot has ran successfully. Let's check out the output folder. Let's check my master data. So the records should be eight because there was one duplicate record. And that one duplicate record should be stored here. Yes. It should be my consolidated data. So there were two files with the four records and the five records. And this is the compiled data of both the records. Now let's check the users created into the Active Directory. I'll log into the virtual box again. So if I go to my organization unit Bangalore, I can see there are eight records created, which are the new users that has been created. And I have the cyber risk group present. Now let's come to the MySQL database. If I run the same query again, Again, we have the eight records stored in the database as well. And the guest role with the new user IDs and the employee IDs and the manager details. All of the details have been stored successfully. Now let's check the emails sent by the bot. There are two emails. One is for the duplicate records and one is for the new user created records. There'll be eight emails sent by the bot. For each user, there will be a separate mail with the user ID details and the password. For the first login for the employee, as you can see, the last record is 1385. And the last email sent out was for the 1385. Here are the further emails. So the first user ID created was 1378 and the last one was 1385. In the same sequence we have in the database 1378 to 1385. This is the mail to the admin or HR for the duplicate records found and the further action required on the same. So this is a single record that was present and that was duplicated in both the files. And this is the complete functionality of our bot Aloha.